Hello everyone, welcome back to the FTCR LP of DuckTales Remastered. We are now about to enter the best level in the game, no questions, <laughs> Transylvania. And we are joined by uh, FTCR's resident bags, new guy, Stefan. <laughs> Woohoo! I was trying to think of something clever to say there, but as, as often happens, nothing clever came into my head. So it's like, he's a new guy. I am the embodiment of nothing clever, so I'll take it. Oh, it's so adorable. It's a little, it's a little skeleton duck. <laughs> Do his little skeleton duck dance. Do a tap. Do a tap tapping. Tappy tap. I like how those things there. It's obviously a skeleton aside from the obvious flesh beacon legs. <laughs> it's like it, it stopped decomposing halfway through. It stopped Oops. decomposing once it hit anything of color. <laughs> the beaks so, Stefan, what is. Stefan, what is your earliest uh, memory of either of either the original DuckTales or this game? Uh, uh, the original DuckTales, I haven't actually, I still to this day haven't actually really played besides emulators. Uh, like, and that's only like a year ago. So, I don't really think I've had a good experience with that. But the remastered, I got uh, when it first came out. Was it, was it 2014 or 2015? It was 20... No, you know, it was 2013 because me because me and Smoothies had just come back from Sonic Boom Shit, when, it, when it was wild. released. Yeah, this is, it's been a fair few years. Look how, look how good the animation was when it all jumped in the air. <laughs> the animation, the animation whole... is so good, man. Yeah, the whole, this whole game, the animation's amazing. Something we haven't brought up yet, um, the, the backgrounds. I, I, I forget the uh, gentleman's name, but the backgrounds are actually being painted by someone who worked on the original cartoon. Nice. That's one of the like the things I really love about this game, is how it re they've they've taken it and made it feel like it is just a, like an ep a playable episode of the cartoon. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think this is the first time they bring out the uh, Junior Woodchuck guidebook. Yeah, Junior Woodchuck was, uh, it's the Boy Scouts of Duckburg. I think it's like on the <laughs> fifth episode of the cartoon, where Huey, Dewey, and Louie are just being complete colossal shits. And, <laughs> oh no, they? they are terrible. So what happens is that Uncle Scrooge considers just dumping them somewhere else again. Uh, but instead, they decide to redirect all their energy towards being junior woodchucks, and all of a sudden, they're less shitty, or they're more constructive <laughs> assholes. Yes, leave the little saying... girl alone in the haunted mansion. Good job. <laughs> hey, Webagill is capable. Webagill is from the streets, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this this remix. Fuck the moon. Fuck it. This is the best track in the entire game. This is good. This is this is, this remake. Jeff Jeff Coppin's remix of Transylvania is one of the only times that I've ever found dubstep good to listen to. Uh, I I would agree with you, but my roommates listen to nothing but like EDM and dubstep, and I've had the opportunity to listen to like one or two good dubstep songs, so. I will say though, you know, my my uh, interaction with, du with dubstep isn't that extensive, but from what I've heard, it's all been trash except for this. <laughs> it's basically... Pretty pretty accurate. <laughs> I think Transylvania is also one of the better looking games, because it uses a lot more um, effects, like, like the um, the fire, the lightning, the rain, and the fact that when you walk past the flames, Scrooge gets lit up. It's like, you know, this this is you know, for for a, a relatively cheap downloadable game, this does look damn impressive. Yeah, I also like with this level, they definitely did the most aesthetic changes. Even though the layout is still the same as the NES, like that area we were just in, that was just a hallway in the original NES, and this was still part of that exact same hallway. But now you're going inside and outside of the castle. They did a lot of changes to this level and a lot of amazing changes at that. This whole game in general just is taking taking all the little things that the NES game did and just 
upgrading it to the maximum capability. Yeah, well, because we just did the Amazon level before this, and that one, the big changes were more on how you played the level with, you know, forcing you to go throughout the entire level to find the coins. This one, the change is a lot on the level's design. Because you can still play the level very much the same, because Transylvania and the NES still had the find the nephew mechanic, even though he was literally, like, one square above the start of the level, so it wasn't all that <laughs> difficult. But with this one, the bigger change is definitely on uh, how the level looks. Yeah, I think also in terms of the, um, you bring up the nephews in the original, well, two things about the original NES version. Scrooge's coat was red, which I believe is, is um, I guess it was more comic accurate. Yes. Because um, Scrooge had a red vest in the comic. And also, um, due to uh, color <laughs> limitations, um, even, even though they were called Huey, Dewey, and Louie, it was really only Huey and Dewey because Louie shared Dewey's uh, colors. <laughs> well, even early comic books, the boys were always like just green and yellow. It, it, honestly, the cartoon is what really set off the red, blue, green. These are the three, and then solidified the whole deal. So they're like the Mirage Turtles, and then the 80s Turtles. Yeah, <laughs> I was just about to say that, yeah. Yep. And then, of course, Webigail being DuckTales' original. She, she's essentially Venus de Milo. Except good. Very, oh, very dude. good. <laughs> That that's harsh, man. No one deserves to be referred to Venus de Milo. At least call her Mona Lisa. <laughs> you know, um, I, mean, I, I was actually reading about um, the triplets a few days ago because that's how sad my life's gotten. But apparently, in in some of the earlier comic books, there was a fourth um, brother as well that would occasionally turn up. A fourth brother? What? Yeah, it was like Huey, Dewey, Louie, and Zooey or something <laughs> like that. Apparently, like in he, he only he only appeared in, in a few stories, like very early on. He was probably a cousin because Huey, Dewey, and Louie have always been. The three. Uh, I may have, I may have, to, I may have to relook into, it, but I swear there was like in like only like two stories. There was also a fourth brother, so I guess it, it was like in the early Marx Brothers days, but there was Zippo. But then I realized no one gives a fuck about Zippo. Uh, so hey, but was hey. he was he the hip was he the hip one? No, Zippo was the um he was the straight the, man. Uh, the straight man, yeah. He like he was he had no comedic timing. He was just boring as shit. So they fired him. Let, let's put into context. Zippos include Xander from Buffy the Vampire Slayer and MBM. Xander is not a Zippo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if if the the Zippo episode of Buffy proved anything, it proved that Xander is not a Zippo. Dude, Zippo is my favorite Buffy episode. It's so good. Because then I guess to have sex with Faith, something that all men want. <laughs> no, okay, so this is going to be completely off tangent, but uh, the guy who played Xander actually cried when he read the script because he felt it was just that good of uh, an episode for his character. Dude, uh, Xander's actor, Nicholas Brendan, he's gone like off the, the rails, man. Wait, really? He's like, he... he Dude, he's been, he's been like, addicted to drugs, he's been arrested by the police multiple oh, times. No, oh no, that makes me sad! Oh. My local, my, lo my local comic book store flew him out to, to a, a event once, and the guy who owned it was like, yeah, he was like, he was clearly on something the, the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Dude, I don't I love that Nicholas broke my heart, because Xander was my favorite, Xander was my favorite character, that, that broke my heart, but at the same time, I'm like, that's the, like, because he's done nothing since. Apparently, he's currently writing season 10 of the Buffy comic book. Okay, well, the, the Buffy comic books are actually really good, and I've been keeping up with them, so... Uh, let, let's... I'll, I'll see what he does. <laughs> but, you know, it's... It's fine that, that, that we're talking about uh, Buffy in this level, because, of course, you know, Buffy's a vampire slayer, and where the vampires come from? Transylvania. It all ties Ghosts. together. <laughs> I love the animation for these kind of duck mummies. Oh, the duck. Where they kind of like crack their necks back and forth. It's a, I love that. All the animation is so good in this game. They're just stuck on their little chain balls. They're like, I'll go this way. No, I can't. Eh, I'll go this way. No, I can't. 
<laughs> I actually like that because I'm unlike some enemies. There's actually two ways to to defeat these guys: either sm either pogo on them or swing their ball. Yeah, and that's also in the original NES version. Double kill. That wasn't in the original, though. That was cool. <laughs> And just like in the original game, uh, there was a power up here for an extra um, heart piece. So this is Zelda now? Because we are now Zelda. Yeah, we're Zelda. <laughs> Zelda. <laughs> the myth of Zelda. <laughs> but um, you know, it's because I think I think Ducktales in the NES had two health power ups. Yes. Like that. I think we mastered may have added a third. I'm not 100 percent sure. Because you're all filthy casuals. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like from what I heard, from what I heard, it wasn't that hard of a hard of a game to begin with. No, the original. It wasn't. I, w I would say it's um, it's it's not, it's not hard once you kind of uh, to a certain extent master Scrooge's control. Like if you know exactly what you can do with him, and it's pogoing, um, it gets pretty easy. But sometimes, um, so sometimes things just hit you, and it's not yeah. fair. The way I would describe DuckTales difficulty is you can make it as easy or as hard as you want. If you want to explore the whole level and go all over the place, I guess it could be a, a bit difficult just because you'll have to uh, dodge and encounter a whole bunch of enemies. But if you just, you know, go straight to the end of the level, it's an piss easy game. <laughs> like Transylvania, right in the original NES, all you have to do is just find the mirror that takes you to the boss level done gg mm. uh remastered and if you want to go for good ending plus just explore the whole level yeah it's gonna take you a bit more time you'll have to encounter some enemies and that could be difficult especially with some of the these heavy mummy guys when they block their own uh steel balls yeah i'll oh, say so <laughs> that, that that line that, so say that line we just went past it's a diamond the size of uh, Mrs. Beagley. F to me, it feels very out of character for Scrooge. <laughs> it's like Scrooge, is, Scrooge, like Scrooge, is, is, he's, he's kind of you know obviously he's, he's greedy, and he's kind of a, he's kind of a jerk. But to make a comment about the size of like Mrs. Beagley's weight seems very uncharacteristically prickish for Scrooge. Yeah, because the thing is, Scrooge doesn't care what you look like. He does. The only thing he cares about is how much money you have. Well, it's not even <laughs> that. It's essentially your work ethic. How hard working are you? It, and then that just sort of translates half the time with most people to how much money they have. Uh, especially with Mrs. Beakley because... The, she works very hard. She works very hard. The reason Scrooge even hired Mrs. Beakley was Mrs. Beakley and Webigail, they were oh. both homeless. And they were homeless for a while. That's why I said that Webby is from the streets. They were, living on, they were living on their own. They had no money, no home. They had to fend for themselves. Uh, what happened was Mrs. Beakley saw an ad in the paper that Scrooge put out that he was looking for a nanny. and Or he was also looking for a nanny, housekeeper, whatever. Um, but the pay was going to be extremely low. So what happened was, the reason he hired Mrs. Beakley is that she was the only candidate that agreed to work, but only be paid in room and board so and also by her granddaughter webby being unofficially adopted by scrooge as a niece hmm. well see i i always i always forgot that so so webby Gale is mrs biggie's granddaughter correct okay gotcha. and they are not blood related to the mcducks but that's something that scrooge does a lot is actually he unofficially adopts children as his nieces and nephews yeah, because if you want to get technical, Huey, Dewey, and Louie are his great nephews. Correct. Uh, Scrooge is Grunkle Scrooge. <laughs> <laughs> Scrooge. Well, because obviously Scrooge is is um, Donald Duck's pure uncle. And then obviously Donald is uncle to Huey, Dewey, and Louie. One thing we haven't brought up is that with the return in voice cast, we have Frank Welker as, as uh, Big Boy Beagley. And I fucking love Frank Walker. Anything that that man voices is gold. I love his speaking voice. I love whenever he speaks. Hey, watch yourself, Big Duck. Like, that just the kind of, like, wise guy voice is great. And can I also just say how amazing uh, Scrooge, Scrooge's voice actor is, considering that he's... Alan Young, yep. yep. He was 93. 
three slash four at the time of, of recording this game. And he still sounds amazing. Actually, I love some of the lines they say. Like this one on, on, on the minecarts where he starts going, Oh, you know what? This is actually kind of fun. Like, I love like a lot, a lot of the dialogue is a lot of the uh, the one-liners they say. Like one of my favorite, I forget it's, I think it's in the African mines where he's being chased by. Um, <laughs> this looks out to be fun. Where he's being, he's being chased by a bowler and he goes, Ah, it's gaining interest. I mean, speed. <laughs> <laughs> because he's rich. Did you get it? Like a goose. Like a Push. goose. <laughs> <laughs> Only a duck. Don't ruin it. So I... <laughs> I will say as a kid, the reason when I, when I was a kid, I was like obsessed with things that were like vampires and ghosts. And so anything in like a game like this would have had like a, a haunted level just just stuck with me. And I think that and as well as the... um. Just a fantastic music track. It's probably one of the reasons why, to this day, Transylvania probably stands out as my favorite level in this game. How about you guys? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's. I still say that Amazon is probably my favorite, but I really, really love this level. Um, I do like haunted aesthetics as well. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll speak more about it when we get to um, the moon. But like, I. I like, the moon is a fine level, don't get me wrong, but I don't get why people go so crazy for it, you know? I think it more so has to do with the music and the fact that it's a good level. The music's not... It's like, it's nothing compared to... Trans nothing will be Transylvania, it's the best. <laughs> it's the best. Uh, also, I, I, I can't believe I just... I wasn't talking about it when it happened, but the minecarts getting that complete revamp. Because in the original, you're just riding a cart for, like, three little blocks. Whee! Yeah. And, and then they go and decide to go completely Donkey Kong on this shit. <laughs> hey, anytime a game wants to incorporate Donkey Kong mechanics, I'm all for it. And then when Donkey Kong wants to incorporate DuckTales mechanics, you know what? <laughs> it's just going to complete the full circle. I love it. Do you, do you think that was kind of the Pentagon? Ah, the DuckTales is going to steal our mine cards, we'll still scooch his pogo stick. Why not? You know what? I would love it if that was actually the case. I would, honestly, <laughs> that would, I would forgive it at that point. It's like, you know what? Yeah, you do that. I, I just love Miyamoto being offended that they stole the mine card from Donkey Kong. Honestly, if, if the reason for game choices was based on being offended or being a prick, <laughs> like, honestly, I would accept that more than, oh, as a creative thought process, like, no, 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 don't give me that bullshit. I, I don't want that. I want to hear those fuckers copy us so we copied them. You know what? You do you. Compromise. <laughs> and I think I said earlier, this is June Foray as, as Magical the Spell. She it's was June like Foray. older than Alan Young. I, th I thought yeah, it was it's still June Foray. I thought it was Trust Me. It sounds like Trust Me McNeely. I think it, it, it's kind of sounds like, but it's, it, it's, it's June Foray. All right. Because I'm like, because all I can think of is mom, Futurama, hearing her voice. So that's why I'm like, it has to be her. <laughs> Make that bitch your bitch, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> but if it is June for a, then amazing job with her too. I know, right? It's it's like Alan Young. You, you can Alan Young. You can slightly. You can tell Scrooge is older. June for a still sounds the same, and that's just amazing. Like what was it? Uh, there's a there was a Rocky and Bullwinkle short that came out uh, recently, and she still was Rocky, and she sounds like exactly the same as she did like nice. twenty or so years ago, and it's like, jeez. What you're listening to now is I edited in the um, the, uh, the Transylvania is the only level in the original game to have an alternate music track. Really? Um, yeah. So what what you're hearing now, I, I just thought it'd be nice to put this in. Which I think this also I think is a pretty damn good piece of music. Um, it's it's a lot, it's a lot creepier than the actual Transylvania theme is. Yeah. This is uh, this is this can kind of spooky. <laughs> Something that we did, um, DuckTales Remastered actually actually gives you the option to use the 8-bit um, soundtrack. And I believe they actually use the Transylvania beta at some point. But I haven't played through the entire game. Um, 
with the with the 8-bit soundtrack, depending on where it is. This this boss is probably the one that's the most changed of the original five bosses, I think, because they they added a, a lot a lot more of um kind of phases of um magic because originally in the original game magic just just turns into a vulture yeah and flies back and like, like this this section here is the entire boss battle <laughs> in the original <laughs> NES version yep. it's just that like four times. And now they made it Dracula from Castlevania. <laughs> it's also, um, it's weird, like, Magic at the Spell is the only kind of villain from the cartoon show who you, who you actually fight. You know, like, there isn't, you know, like, the, there is, I mean, I guess, technically, in Remastered, um, they did, they did make the, uh, the, one of the Beagle Boys a boss fight, which is cool, but in the original game, she's the only named DuckTales villain who you actually, uh, battle with. Correct, yeah, because all the others are just artifacts things or original game characters. Well, I, I don't know if the, uh, I think the Blob and the Snowman may have been in the cartoon, but they, like you said, named villains. Magica still remains the only. I mean, she, yeah, she is the most famous of all of them, right? Probably, I mean, like, I, I mean, I mean, like, um, I, I, I can never, I can never get his name right, but Flint look Glumgold? Yeah. Oh yeah, that guy. He was always in the original. He does turn up in, in the last level, uh, but you don't fight him. Like, he wouldn't be a boss until uh, DuckTales 2, where I guess at that point they were um, inspired by Terminator 2, and he turns into a D1000 <laughs> robot. What? It's like, what the, the fuck? fuck? Dude, 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 it's like the, the final boss fight of DuckTales 2 makes no sense. Mean, the final boss fight in DuckTales 1 makes no sense, but the final boss fight in DuckTales 2 makes even less sense than, than the final in DuckTales 1. Jesus. Why? This, this is also a nice thing where they make it, they don't really explain why, but in the cartoon show, Magica was always trying to steal the first dime Scrooge ever made because she believed it had like magical powers. Yep. Okay, and, uh, like that, that that was the one thing that confused me playing the game is like, why does she want this damn dime? The the dime the dime is an ingredient for one of her most powerful spells, and Scrooge actually earned that dime while he was in uh uh crap, it was Glasgow or whatever. Uh because he started, Scotland. yeah, somewhere in Scotland, he <laughs> started as a shoe shine. That's the thing about yep. Scrooge McDuck is he actually started as an immigrant worker, and his first job was as a shoe shine, and he earned his first dime shining shoes. So Scrooge, Scrooge may be a, a greedy corporate Republican, but damn it, he earned his money. He earned it. I mean, I have nothing against Scrooge's wealth. He earned every fucking dime. Scrooge McDuck received no small loan of a million dollars. He heard that shit, right? Yep. Scrooge also has no intention of building walls. As far as we know. Unless there are walls around his money pit so he can swim in it. So, uh, as we're at the end now of the uh, Transylvania level, um, so if, I, if you wanted to maybe just maybe sum, sum up your thoughts on the game, but then if you want to tell people where they can find you on the interwebs. Uh, I like this game, and I love this. Love just swimming in the money. I know it's it's so fun. It, it, this this is like it's an it's an amazing uh, 2D platformer. It's an excellent update to the classic game. It does a lot of things new. It does a lot of things just um, amazingly well done. Uh, way forward shows why they're like the best at these kind of 2D platformer. Like classic type gameplay. When they try, when, when they, they try, try, they're the best. When they, when they just crap out licensed games, not so much. This is a good licensed game, and I wish this is and, one of the best licensed games. And I wish they made more. I wish they were able to make more, like like, Chip, like the Chippendale one, and uh, maybe maybe Darkwing Duck, maybe. Of course, Darkwing Duck. <laughs> And you can and you can find me on Twitter at Games Enlisted. And on FTCR. Soon. Probably now. Soon. <laughs> okay, bye.